In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate yet equally important groups. A fucking fair dinkum, fucking full grown Aussie. And the dog cunts. These are their stories. The next defendant is Ms. Michelle Geraldson Jiang McCoy. Michelle. G'day, buddy. Michelle, you do not refer to magistrates in court by their first name. Well, how's I supposed to know? No one told me. Yeah, that's fair enough. I'm just saying, call me Your Honour from now on, okay? Yeah, that's fine, darling. No, your house, your rules. Okay, so, is my memory playing tricks on me, or have you been in my court before, Miss McCoy? Oh, you remember me, eh? <laughs> Left your depression, did I judge? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, mate. I'm going steady. <sighs> Shell, I can assure you with every fibre of my being, that is not what I meant. Yeah, I know, love. I'm just having a laugh. I've been in here a couple of times, haven't I, Gus? Indeed you have, Shell. You've been in here once for possession of cannabis. Oh, yeah, but I shouldn't have come in for that one, Judge. I told the cop it's that was medicinal. My back's fucked. And? There's a variety of medications you can take for that that are perfectly legal. Oh, OK. So I've got to go to the chemist. Get a prescription, pump yourself full of God knows what fucking chemicals when I could just go to the backyard. Shell, don't admit in court that you have marijuana growing in your backyard. I said the backyard, not mine necessarily. Uh, enough. I have had this exact argument three times today already. I am not having it again. Well, if you change the laws, you wouldn't have a bloody once. Excuse me? What do you think I am? The dictator of Australia? No. I don't make the laws, Shell. I enforce them. If you have a problem with the laws, I suggest you contact your local MP. Oh, Jack Gibney, he's a bigger crook than anyone in here. And your second appearance was in relation to an assault and battery of a one Mr Geraldson. Oh, well, thanks for reminding me of that bastard. Who you cut up with a slap chop? He's lucky I didn't use the gravy on his little turnip. OK, look. As far as I'm concerned, that's behind us, all right? Yeah, me too, Dale. Live and let live, that's what I reckon. Today we're here because you've been accused of illegally selling tobacco without a licence. Oh, can you slot stop making everyone get a licence for bloody everything? I'm surprised I'm not in here for not having a licence for fucking breathing. Michelle, this is a very serious offence. You were found with 15 kilos of unprocessed, unregistered tobacco. Yeah, job job. That is so... Unbelievably illegal. I just want you to be aware of that before we move on. Are you aware of that, Miss McCoy? Yeah, I'm aware of it. I'm just saying I don't agree with it. That doesn't matter, Shell. I know it doesn't matter. I'm just saying it. Fuck. OK, noted. How do you plead? No, guilty of trying to make a decent living with a fucked back, I suppose. Michelle, drop the profanities in my court. They are not doing you any favours particularly when the maximum penalty is a $55,000 fine. Jesus fucking Christ, 55. What's the point of selling Chop Chop in the first place? Exactly. That's the point of a fine. Yeah, well, what's the fine for Jack Gibney getting sucked off in his office when he should be out there filling in potholes or whatever? <sighs> Mr Gibney is not on trial here, Michelle. Yeah, well, that's the whole fucking problem, isn't it? He thinks just because he's got a schmick suit from Trams, he can walk all over us little fellas in his fine Italian shoes while you're up there letting him do it. On top of the fine... Oh, fuck me, dead Pete. The fine's not enough. You could go to prison for up to two years. Yeah? Well, have they fixed the reception for Channel 10 in there or what's the go? Is that honestly the first question you have here? Well, I'm not going to jail. I'll just pay the fucking fine. No. You pay the fine and go to jail, Shell. It's not one or the other. What? Let's just not get ahead of ourselves, all right? Okay. I'm going to make this as simple as I possibly can for you, Shell. Do you know what you did was wrong? Oh, Judge, I've done a lot of things in my life I'm not proud of. It's just what happens when you graduate from the school of hard knocks with straight A's. You don't learn the law of the land out there, you learn the law of the streets. Okay. If I could have me time over, I'd do a lot of things differently, you know? Look. When I was a little girl, I wanted to be a secret agent. <laughs> Can you imagine that? But then, life just gets in the way, you know, like, fuck me back. But didn't want to go on the dole, because that's not how Nan raised me. It says here you're on workers' comp. Yeah, but Judge, that's not the dole. Look, I will acknowledge that your conditions growing up were not favourable, Miss McCoy. However, I can still think of countless avenues you could have taken that would not have included you selling large quantities of illegal tobacco. Yeah, but what is illegal tobacco? 
You got a fucking BP there charging $50 a pack for some of that shit. That should be fucking illegal. Shell? No, it's just a jack fucking kidney can line his fat little pockets. It's bloody I only charge ten dollars for my shit. I couldn't imagine being that fucking greedy. Okay, well, if it wasn't obvious, and it very clearly was, I was giving you every opportunity I possibly could to reduce your sentence. Not only have you burned every one of those bridges with a flamethrower, you have incriminated yourself further. Hell! Officer, send Miss McCoy a transcript of this court hearing. I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. My pleasure, Your Honour. Now I'll have to be extremely creative with any leniency I can possibly offer you, Shell. Very kind of you, Your Honour. You will spend one month in the women's correctional facility. Oh. Piss easy. And I'm issuing you a $10,000 fine. Oh, come on, Judge. Five. What? Miss McCoy, this is not an auction on eBay. I know that. It's just my suggestion. I reckon it should be five. If I were you, I'd be more worried about the prison time, Shell. Oh, don't you worry about me, Judge. I've been training for prison me a die life. I'm just going to rock up. We'd pipe the biggest lizzo in there. Please share and comment below. Command.